Here's a successful looking crew. How did you all go this morning? How, how did we go? It's not about who wins. It's about who you beat. <laughs> There's the other, other crew. I can't believe it. Yeah, well some of us haven't done this before, so I wouldn't worry too much about it, Okay, so let's make a call of that. Let's row right through. Yeah. Row right through there. <laughs> oh, Billy, that must have been so hard for you. <laughs> you just take it easy then, all right? <laughs> This is the team. That's my dad. That's my uncle Nick. That's my uncle Tom. Those are the other guys. That's the coach. And that's the Cox Millie with a headset on. These are the sexy sweepers. And that is, that is the reserve. This is them going to the that line to prepare physically and mentally for the semi-final race. This mammoth course which ends, I don't know if you can see them, those white cones. <laughs> A reasonable distance, really, but still, they are all pretty old. And that uh, I'm sorry, the they're away now. First three, three or four strokes looking good. Not a lot of white water being thrown up by anybody, which means they're hanging on the water quite nicely. The right's right up, particularly in the middle of the river. And I'm looking at uh, lane five, we have the best of the start. Probably out now by probably over half a length, which is the uh, spectator's boat. In lane four, hanging on to them, trying to go with them is the sexy sweeps. And PLC power up, they're probably in about third spot. Back to Croydon Power, probably in fourth, with the tree oars. Just left a little bit behind at the start, trying to catch up now, and they're hanging on to the wood really nicely. Extreme late, but after not a tiny start, and now swinging along well, as is the Swedish crew on this side closest to us. And there's no doubt about who our leader is, the spectators in lane five, swinging together nicely, holding the water well. But two balls to get our second spot. If Pills and Power push now, they'll probably get, hang on to it, but the second and third, third spot will be extremely tight. Extremely tight. The sexy sweepers have just got back in front. Trimmers on the side is extremely close to third and fourth. I'll leave that one to the judges. Coming across in sixth place on the far side is the Croydon crew. And on this side is probably best out of the blocks for the speculators. Probably just jumping to a canvas now over Team Tsunami and Jolly Roger. With the water rats swinging along very nicely. Coxes are doing a fantastic job. Lines very straight. And they've probably gone through about 400 metres. Speculators now growing long and strong. Rains down, the power's on. Probably jump to clear water now. Probably over Team Tsunami and Jolly Roger. Although on the far side, three oars still hanging on there, as is the Extreme 8. Sexy sweepers on this side closest to us are also doing extremely well. But once again, there's no doubt about our leaders. Probably with a length of clear water now with about 150 metres to go. And that is the speculators. Good exhibition of 
Copper Valley here for this one. Very close to the third bronze medal position. Jolly Roger just hanging on on this side of the river. Sexy sweepers are making a big effort for it. With the lines deep in it. Looks like Jolly Roger's sexy sweeper. But it's too close to judge for the minor places for me. I've got extreme far side as the extreme mate coming in the last position. Well done guys. Fantastic. A very good second being rode by Tsunami. By those blow-ins from the Westpac crew. Look at that. Good length on the at least a length and a half on the rest of the field. Well done, Tsunami. Yep. 